out of more than 5,000 jams Washington Airport to roar their welcome to President and Mrs. Eisenhower as they return from a seven-week hospital stay in Denver. The President's daughter-in-law and son are the first to greet them and are followed by Vice President Nixon and former President Hoover. Smiling and looking fit, the President says thanks. Uh, President Hoover, Mr. Vice President, my very dear friends, I am deeply honored that uh, so many of you should come down to welcome uh, Mrs. Eisenhower and I back to Washington. It's been a little longer stay than we had planned, but the circumstances you will understand. I am happy the doctors have given me at least a, uh, a parole, if not a pardon, and uh, I expect to be back at my accustomed duties, although they say I must ease my way into them and not bulldoze my way into them. <laughs> to each of you who have come down, of course, we would like to speak personally and thank you uh, for the honor you have done us. That is impossible, and so possibly in just saying thank you, we are grateful, you will understand uh, what we would like to do, and you will let the wish uh, take the place of the deed. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Another 200,000 lie in the streets as the chief executive drives to the White House where he spends the weekend before proceeding to his farm at Gettysburg. Ike's arrival is a civic holiday in Gettysburg with just about the entire populace jamming the streets to express hearty greetings. A day of wonderful excitement for all concerned, including the convalescing chief executive and the first lady who gets a special birthday greeting all her own. 